What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Big one right here. Hope y'all listen. We're going to talk about the art of minding your business. Minding your own business, man. It's too many people in the world who make it their, their business to tend to everybody else's. They seem to be more concerned with what you doing, what he doing, she doing, the next door neighbor's doing. And for no other reason other than just to know. And in the extreme cases, to know and then go tell somebody else your business. But there are serious ramifications that are associated with not minding your business if you but knew. First of all, everybody don't play that. Well, that's second of all. First of all, it's none of your business. Whatever person is doing, whatever they have going on, it's not your place to, to, to jump involved, get involved and play detective and, and, and try to find out what's going on. Secondly, again, it's very dangerous because there are people out here who just don't tolerate that kind of uh, snakery, man. It's like what makes an individual get off to want to hear? And usually when they mind in your business, it's usually they're probing to try to find out something uh, uh, negative about you. They want to know some type of uh, misfortune about you. That's what gets them gets them off and gets their blood bought and they like to see the bad parts of life. And it's weird, man, because there are people who on the job do it. There are people in the neighborhood do it, people at school that do it. And it's really funny when people do it in the workplace. Because people would jeopardize their own job. They got to find out. They got to know what's the deal. They'll ask people, so what's up with him? So what's up with her? Mind your business, man. None of your business. And when people come to you and they start trying to pick and probe and, and try to find out things about you, it's all right for you to tell them none of your business. It's all right for you to tell them that. And they're going to look at you like you disrespected them or like you did them wrong. But they're really just upset because that them rocks that they wanted to get off, they can't get them off now. See? Stay out of folks' business, man. Nosy people are always peeking through their blinds to try to see what's happening across the way. People stepping outside. What's, what's, what's going on? What's going on? You know, that's how you get your head cut. If it does not concern you, stay out of it. It's not a situation where you come into somebody's rescue or somebody's in distress and you step in, hey, what's going on? That's a different type of scenario. It's just people butting in trying to get information. But you're going to stick your nose in the wrong hole one of these days. And something bad going to happen to you. Learn how to mind your own business. That's better for you. People want to be messy. That's why they want to find out. People thrive off of the mess. They thrive off of the drama. And, off of, and now keep in mind. They thrive off of your problems. But these are the same people who would never want you button your nose into their business. They would never want you probing and asking them and questioning them about things going on with them. They, they would fly off the handle. But it's all right for them to know yours. You got to beware of people like that. That's a sickness. It's a sickness. 
Okay? They don't even think there's nothing wrong with that. They think that they are actually entitled to know what's going on with you. Sickness. Be aware of those types, man. And please don't, please make sure that you are not one of those types. Resist the urge that you may have inside you to know something that doesn't have anything to do with you. Learn how to go, oh, shh, I'm going to go. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's none of my business. And learn how to stop people in their tracks when they begin to try to share other people's business with you. Stop them. Hey, man, guess what such... Hey, hey, no, no, no. I don't want to know. It's none of my business. And it's none of yours. You shouldn't even know. See? And be careful who you share your business with. People slick. People will give the presentation that they are a, um, a supportive shoulder to lean on just because they got that urge. They want to know your business. And the things that you say to certain people, things will come out of your mouth. And in a lot of cases, you will hear them again at some point coming out of somebody else's. And it won't be coming out of the person. You won't hear it coming out of the person's mouth you told it to. You'll hear it coming out of the person's mouth that they told it to. See? So you got to guard that within yourself. And you got to, again, make sure you're not a person who's thriving off of knowing somebody else's business. Somebody wants to tell you something, you have to have the integrity. When they confide in you, you got to have the integrity as a human being to say to yourself, Whatever this person is getting ready to tell me, I'm going to take this and, and, let, and, and it's going to be in complete confidence and it'll never, ever leave my mouth to nobody else. That's what a real friend is. That's what a real family member, that's what real loyalty is. Whatever you tell me, because there's things that I didn't want to know and they were just like, man, I got to get out got to so I make the decision to say, okay, whatever my friend is getting ready to say to me, even without me telling this to them, they can rest assured it would never be repeated. Never, never be repeated. Even if we fall out with each other. Because that's another reason why you don't tell your business to certain people. Because as soon as y'all have a, a problem, So you got, it's some evil people in the world. Sick, evil people that need help. They need a special kind of help, though. Read between the lines. And they'll get it. So tell me what y'all think about that, man. The art of minding your own business. Knowing how to look up. Oh, ain't got nothing to do with me. Knowing how to, when they get to talk, oh, I don't want to hear that. That's not, that has nothing to do with me. That's none of my business. I should not be privy to that information. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I'll catch y'all later on. Peace.